Hello everyone, my name is Dharmesh. I am Managing Director at Thinkwise Education. So with a uh, few requests coming in uh, from a lot of physiotherapy students. So today's video will be on physiotherapy education in United States. So uh, we have BPT students over here, which is Bachelor of Physiotherapy students. And with BPT degree, they do get a license to practice in India. And they have an inspiration to study and work in United States. So you need a license for that particular country. Just a Indian license degree will not qualify you to practice in United States. So they have to do the necessary licensing process uh, to make them eligible to work over there. So in this particular video, I will try to cover two parts. One is on the all other study options available for a BPT students whereby they can enter the country, give necessary licensing exam, get the necessary credit to become eligible. And the second is what are the licensing process, what steps need to follow, where to apply, how to do it. So I'll try to give you a basic idea on both this process. So first with the BPT degree student, uh, you have three options which you can apply for. One is MPT Post Professional, which is one, one and a half year program uh, meant for students who already have a physiotherapy degree students. There are very limited choices uh, for such program, but there are a few odd choices which you can apply for. The other is Master's degree in Rehabilitation Science, Sports and Exercise Science, Kinesiology. These are all specialized program. BPD students are eligible for it. Now, the first two options which I mentioned are one to two year program. The third option is DPT program, which is the most appropriate program for BPD students. You go directly for a, a DPT program. You don't need master's degree to become eligible for DPT. DPT are of two type. One is entry level and one is post professional. In US, they do not have a, a professional degree at bachelor. You directly apply after your bachelor of uh, uh, any science degree for a DPT program to get a licensed professional degree. So they don't they have a BPT degree at all. So uh, students uh, with a US degree will apply for a BPT uh, entry level, which is a licensed program, but students from India with a BPT already having license will apply for a post-professional program. So Indian students will apply for a DPT post-professional. It's a three-year program. By taking additional credits every semester, you may finish your degree in two and a half year period. So there are three options. Somebody who is ready to go for an advanced program and for a three-year duration, DPT is the right program. Somebody who wants a shorter degree, one, one and a half, two-year program, master's level programs are good enough for them. Now this program itself do not give you license to practice simultaneously you have to appear for a specific state license there are 50 states in united states and every state has their own license so you cannot uh, 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 have a license for one particular state and practice uh, elsewhere or have a common license where you can practice in any of the state you need to have a specific state license where you would like to practice now in last 20 years i have seen many students going for new york state because cons Comparatively, they are much, much easier to get our BPT degree approved to practice and get a license to practice in New York State. But it is not compulsory that you can only select New York State. You may apply to other state as well. So now the next step, second process. How do I get my registration done, the license process done? Just a basic idea, process need to be knowing. So I'll guide you on that licensing part now. So uh, to get a license, you have to clear NPT exam, which is National Physical Therapy exam, it's conducted and administered by FSBPT, which is a Federation of State Board of Phys Physical Therapy. So uh, it's not that anytime I can go online, look at the exam available date and appear for it. No, you need to get an invitation letter to appear for it. And to get the invitation letter to appear for NPT, you need to have your degree evaluated. Now, if your degree is kept accredited, then you don't require any evaluation. You can directly go ahead and apply for NPT test. But our Indian degrees are not kept accredited. So we need to get our degree evaluated first. So what is this? What are the steps? So there is a body called as FCCPT, which is a Foreign Credential Commission on Physical Therapy. That's the authorized body. You need to apply to them with your BPT degree and get your degree evaluated. They've got two type of review, educational credential review, which is ECR. And then you have got type one review, which is an advanced uh, review with additional credits, which is required to when you when you're applying for a H1B visa. So initially to get a license, you will apply for educational credential review. So through FCCPT, when you make an application, you select a state, particular state, and based on state, they'll give you that which are the body who will do your evaluation. So when you select FCCPT and suppose you go for a New York state, they've got a separate evaluation body, which is called as NYSED, which is New York State of Education. They do not go by ECR. They have their own evaluation. So you need to apply through them. So by selecting a state, you will understand which particular body will do my evaluation, but you need to get the FCCPT evaluation done first. 
Remember here, do not make mistake that when you are in your final year of bachelor, you may make application for your master's DPT program, you are eligible. But you do not make a FCCPT evaluation because unless your degree is not complete, you do not have, you have not completed your internship, you have not, not got your license, your degree will not come equivalent. So get your uh, uh, bachelor degree completed, then only you go for FCCPT evaluation. So there is a possibility of your master's uh, DPT program, you got your visa. So before leaving from India to uh, US, get your FCCPT necessary document. Otherwise, you have to come back to India and uh, get the document done or you have to ask somebody to help you, maybe your parents to visit the university and get the documentation. So don't do it when you're in final year, but do it before you leave the country. Uh, but ensure that you have completed your entire degree with license, then you apply for FCCPT to get the necessary accreditation. Apart from your degree evaluation, which is through FCCPT, either educational credential review or you're going for a New York State, New York State education review. They also need your uh, uh, English test score. Uh, so in TOEFL, you require 22 plus in your listening, reading, writing. And in speaking, they require 24 plus. So ensure that you meet the requirement. As it is, you are prepared for your master's DPT program and you have met the requirement for TOEFL. So you will not require to again, but keep in mind that you will need this minimum requirement to get your uh, 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 basic eligibility met. So once you have got your FCCPT evaluation done, you have got your TOEFL, you will apply through FSBPT, Federation of State Board of Physical Therapy. And uh, within a couple of months of the evaluation, FCCPT evaluation takes two months time. And once you make an application within a couple of weeks, you'll get a author authority to uh, a test letter from FSBPT that you are now eligible to schedule your NPT exam. NPT exam is conducted four times in a year, which is generally uh, January, April, July and October. You book one month in advance. It's a five hour test. 250 questions are uh, there in uh, uh, NPT test. And it's a multiple choice question. Generally, students take six to uh, nine months to prepare for it. Uh, I have not seen any students have to go for a second attempt. So one attempt they generally clear. Some of the material which they use is uh, Therapy Ed, which is a very good book. Then NTP uh, uh, Final Frontier, which is again a very good online material with the audio video lecture, a lot of practice mock test. And then other materials like Score Builder, uh, Study Buddy. So these are the resources which you can use to clear for the exam. So while you are doing your master's DPT, simultaneously you can clear this NP, uh, NPT uh, uh, preparation and appear for the exam. Uh, once you appear for the exam, uh, within a couple of months, you will get a, a license that now you are eligible to practice for a particular state which you have applied for. Now, with that license, you are eligible to apply for a job and you can start looking for a job in work. Now, once you complete your uh, uh, MPT program or a, or a DPT program and you would like to get a H-1B visa, you need to have additional credit and get your type 1 review done, which is again through FCCPT. So type 1 generally require 210 credit. Our BPT degree is uh, uh, 150 credit generally. And having that master's uh, or DPT done, you'll get extra credit to meet with the type 1 credit. So once you have completed your master's DPT, then you again apply for the FCCPT type 1 review. And once you have the, got the type 1 review assessment done, which is equivalent to physiotherapy degree of United States, then you go ahead and apply for H1B visa. So I wanted to share this information that uh, what is the process, what are the program you can go for, what is the licensing process. Uh, so I hope I have covered most of the uh, important points. Uh, just to give a recap, uh, get your uh, uh, FCCPT done only once you have done your BPT, but do it from India. Uh, then get the required TOEFL score so that you meet the requirement. Contact the specific state which you would like to register for the license and get the basic uh, requirement but generally uh, your degree should be evaluated you should be 21 years in uh, age and above then you should have your TOEFL score above specific limit these are the requirement and once you have those evaluation everything you prepare for NPT appear for it and get a specific state license and then last step would be to get your uh, type 1 review to get ready for your H1B visa so this was a short video to give you basic insight about the physiotherapy process to practice in US the Bureau of uh, uh, Labor Statistics suggests uh, uh, roughly 20% growth for physiotherapy in the year 2020 to 30, and it estimated around 49,000 new jobs during this period. So it's a very good uh, uh, program, uh, very high demand there. So if you if you are really interested to practice your physiotherapy after your BPT, then this is the right program, and you must appear for the license. For the license.
so i hope you have liked my video uh, i will be inviting one or two students uh, of mine who have already finished their mpt dpt and practicing in united states they've done th gone through this process so that they can come online and give a small interview and it will be helpful for my future student so thank you again if any query question please uh, type in your comment section please like share subscribe our video so that we create more and more video all right so thanks take care and have a nice day see you